welcome back to the Citizen Channel as we kick off the new season as far as the Premier League is concerned. Anyway, if we get that rubbishy plate last week, we're not going to bother about that, are we? We went on to the 11th of August 2023, Burnley nil, City 3. Yes, well done, Vincent. Uh, a good a good performance by Burnley, I'll say that now before we get all uh, swallowed up by City's machinations. Um, we're going to get on with this today because I think we're going to added time with this, a bit more injury time, a lot to get through, very interesting. Quick mention before we kick off, guys. Yeah, uh, I said I'd do this for Mark. Mark McCarthy, of course, as you, most of you will probably know, the Manchester City Max Shirts guy. That's Mark M M M A C. Yeah, he's got another book out, number two, number two book uh, to pre-order, so you can add your name in the book for another one hundred and one Manchester or one hundred and one Manchester City match worn shirts book. So yeah, I think he's doing. So, I think he's sort of self publishing or getting involved in this more himself. So get, even more important, perhaps you give him your support, guys, with this one. Subscribers editions are now available. So all you have to do is direct message him. Yeah, to Mark at Mark M M M A C or give him an email at mmmac at hotmail.co.uk it should be on the screen there you want to pause it make a note of it and of course he's going to be back in the city magazine the, the program i'll be doing program watches slightly different this season so i'm sure i'll feature mark from time to time in his little stories about his shirt so give him your support in that by buying it and speaking about it and retweeting about it and of course uh, give him your support for this his latest book which i'm sure will be absolutely fantastic right guys please if you are new to the channel before we get on to the match report and the talking points etc player ratings of course from mr bukowski uh, press that subscribe button if you've not already done so it'd be great the notification button that'd be fantastic everything's city past and present on this channel uh, i'm busy i was busy during the closed season as you know we never never shut here we might have christmas day off that's the only day i don't pub usually publish anything so unless i'm on holiday and I'm, I'm struggling with internet connection or something like that so please give us your support thumbs up guys it'd be wonderful to have a, a like or a thumbs up right start 11 i got eight i was quite happy with that um I had Diaz and Stones in my starting eleven, so I was unaware of the problems that happened there. And also, I just didn't want KDB to start this. I'm, I'm not psychic. I just, I just don't think he was probably right. And it, obviously, we'll talk about it more in a minute when we talk about the player ratings. But uh, yeah, so I didn't put him in my team. Anyway, the starting eleven. Edison Walker, Akanji, Aki Lewis, Roderick, De Bruyne, Bernard, or he was a captain, Bernardo, Foden, Alvarez and Haaland. On the bench, yeah, not the strongest bench, uh, in fairness. Ortega, Phillips, Kovacic, Grealish, Laporte, Gomez, Gavardiol, Palmer, Makati, got to be careful how you pronounce that. I mean, Gund Gundo was here for how many years? Uh, I still never pronounced his name right, so I've got not got a lot of chance of it. Anyway, but uh, yeah, I was a bit confused with Lewis and Walker playing, but I knew Pep was going to put more response responsibility on Lewis as well which uh, didn't didn't fit didn't fill me with too much fear but you know sometimes I think Pep asks a lot of his players and, and usually they, they sort of meet him halfway don't they uh, five debutants for Burnley so company was proving he's as quirky as Pep and, and two or three good players I noticed uh, Norwegian midfielder Sander Berg Switzerland striker Zeki Amduni young Italian winger Luca Coliosho, Republic of Ireland defender Dara O'Shea and formerly of City of course old Mr James Trafford in goal and two other signings Nathan Redmond who we got to saw got we saw later on and I think did we see Jacob Brun Larson as well I think we might have seen him uh, we're on the bench as well right key moments first half four minutes of course didn't have long to wait did but it's one nil KDB it's it long to Rodri on the left hand corner of the six yard box uh, who heads it back nicely uh, across to Haaland you could see you know Brilliant header from Rodri, who just sweeps into the bottom left-hand corner from close range. Plenty of Burnley players around him, just couldn't get to him. Uh, great start, of course. Did it settle us down? Probably not that much, actually. Um, six minutes, KDB had one over from distance. 15 minutes, O'Shea finds Roberts down the flank. Roberts finds Foster, and he slips Vitino into space with a, a, a ball to the left. Vitino cuts back uh, for this Kolyoshu, who we mentioned, who attempts to shape a side foot to the top right, but it does go tamely over. But uh, a good little move uh, by Burnley's uh, Vinnie Company's Burnley. 18 minutes, Anduni works works sitting up space for a shot, which he smacks low and hard from a tight angle, but straight at Edison, so he manages to collect that. 22 minutes, and yes, the worst happened, of course. De Bruyne is troubled, uh, and that's that. Uh, he shouldn't have started. As simple as that. Kovacic gets his Premier League debut for City, of course. 
28 minutes let off for us. And Dooney latches onto a loose Lewis pass. Yeah, he's put under a lot of pressure, Lewis. As I said, I, I did, did worry about that. He, he copes okay most of the time. Uh, he threatens to break clear down the middle. He can't quite sort his feet out. He seems to be in the clear, then he's not. And Rodri managed... I mean, Rodri's not the not the speediest of guys. He needs a little bit of time to get up to pace, doesn't he? But uh, he got a toe pole to it and before uh, Amdouni could get a shot in. 29 minutes, Foster sends a curly shot across Edison and wide right. It's all Burnley chances, this, isn't it? Burnley, and at that stage, 29 minutes, I think I thought Burnley were doing very, very well and we looked a little bit rattled, in fairness. 35 minutes, Kovacic and Foden come bound down the inside right channel. Foden very nearly spins Vicino with a coup. Cute black back flick. I think I think it sort of happened. I think he didn't plan it. It's just how the ball fell. But it was very clever. He did a turn, and then he couldn't quite get his shot away enough. Of course, Trafford was quickly off his line to claim it. He fell over. Does he need a bit more weight work or or something? Does it need to be a bit stronger? Yeah, we'll talk about that later in his player ratings. Thirty six minutes. City wrestle back control. Foden slips Walker in down the right. Walker cuts back for Alvarez near the penalty spot. Alvarez rolls calmly to Haaland, just to his right, and Haaland doesn't mess about, meets the pass first time, putting a fantastic shot across Trafford into the top left. Absolutely no keepers getting to that one, and it's 2-0. 37 minutes, Kaliosho cross, uh, crossing low from the right, Foster shooting first time from the edge of the box, and Akanji manages to get a block in before it troubles Edison. Uh, and we played out the five minutes of added time at the first, uh, at the end of the first half very well. 2-0 at half-time, should be game over, but hey, if, if we've got to have a 60 minute second half you never know do you but we didn't 55 minutes Rodri has a bang from best part of 30 yards Strafford sort of keeps his eye on it just doesn't take any chances uh, tips it over the bar I, I thought it made a bit of a meal of it but perhaps I'm being a bit unkind perhaps it was moving moving a bit in the air 60 minutes fold and rolls a pass down the middle for Haaland who powers towards the box and yeah, rather than take a go himself, which he perhaps should have done, he laid it off for Alvarez on his right. Alvarez, though, slashes wildly right. Uh, generally poor by Alvarez, but we'll talk about him again before we go. Apparently Pep gets a yellow for descent. What I was dissenting about. Was it Alvarez's shot? I don't know. 75 minutes, it's 3-0 from a free kick. It's killed in low by Foden. Aki makes a nuisance of himself, as he tends to do on the edge of the six-yard box. Trafford can't claim it. A bundle of players. The ball breaks back to Rodri, who just simply lifts it into the left-hand side of the net from eight yards, and it's Probably definitely is game over at that stage. I won't be happy unless we get three goalies with uh, going into injury time this season. 79 minutes, Haaland's down the middle. He should really be shooting again from the edge of the D, but feeds Alvarez again. Um, Alvarez's shot is blocked that time, but again, I think it's a bit, he hesitated again, I think. Haaland losing Aki. All, all them went off. Laporte, um, uh, Palmer, and making his City debut, Gavardiol came on. 86 minutes, Alvarez not got his shooting radar working tonight. Uh, perhaps he's put his boots on the wrong feet. Perhaps he's got his, perhaps the L and the R's have been mixed up. I'm not too sure. Uh, he had an effort straight at Trafford. Uh, yeah, a bit nasty in the 93rd minute. I'll, I'll not worry. I'm not going to comment on the crowd scene, you know, the, the invade, pitch invader and the throwing lighters, etc. But uh, on the pitch, Walker tears off down the right and cynically clipped by Zaruri. And it's the first booking of the night. Interesting enough, uh, the ref. Didn't Porson, of course, uh, didn't want to show the yellow. It looked, looked for me, he was taking it out and putting it back. But is that because, it, I mean, surely he thought it was a yellow. Was, it, was he contemplating giving a red at that stage? I think that might have been what he, th what he was thinking when he was putting his yellow card back. Because there's no way he's going to get get away without a booking. So he did give it some thought and then came back with his yellow. But then obviously he was sent over to the monitor. And yeah, I think he should have stayed with his first instinct and given the red card and then had it rescinded. Uh, so, you know... Good or bad from Porson, at the end of the day, the right decision was made, of course. Uh, 95 minutes, Walker, uh, hopefully not too badly injured from that, uh, was off and McAtee was on. And then it got to, again, yeah, six minutes added time. We got to 98 minutes. There was a couple of stoppages, of course, in injury time. And uh, we are top of the league. Uh, we used to sing that in the old days, didn't we? Occasionally, all it's that sort of championship song, isn't it? We are top of the league, so we are top of the league. Well, let's not peak too early, eh, guys? Uh, <laughs> so match stats, Burnley, six shots, one on target. City, 17 shots, eight on target. That surprised me a little bit. I thought, you know, certainly in that first half, I think probably Burnley edged most of it. Possession, 66% for City. Passes, 362 for Burnley, 696 for us. Accuracy, I think we 
we were up to 90% at one stage. We ended up with 89. This is okay, okay, that's fine. But we were rushed into things that by a good Burnley performance, I'll say that. 79% by them. Fouls 11 by them, 8 by us. No yellows, of course. They had they had one initial yellow that was turned into a straight red. Offsides, just one for us. And corners, six for them and five for us. XG philosophy. Burnley 0 0.33, my thanks to at XG Philosophy. Burnley 0 0.33, uh, City 2.34, so we overperformed, didn't we? Just as a quickie, the top six teams for XG last season based on XG Philosophy was City with 82.48, Arsenal 78.47, Newcastle 78.12, Liverpool 77.55, Brighton 77.22 and United at 69.99. Right, the ratings, I'll get, yeah, we're on to 10 minutes already, guys. Let's uh, get through this. Simon Bukowski for the Manchester Evening News. Edison, ridiculously cool under pressure, said Simon, in possession of his long game was also excellent. Not far off for an assist. He's given an eight. Uh, I'm not going for an eight. I thought it was, it was perfect for the Burnley press not all spot on of course with his releases with his passes but a good calming job from the back I think if Ortega had been in goal yesterday uh, we, <laughs> I don't think it would have ended the same a couple of nice uh, dives at people's feet as well so ideal for that sort of game uh, Edison yesterday Walker used his pace yeah uh, Simon gave him an 8 I gave him a 7 Walker used his pace well said Simon and found some joy second high up the right clever for the second goal Simon's given him an 8 again I think Simon's been a little more generous than me generally uh, I'd give him a 7 I thought it was up and down important in the first goal defensively he was always seemingly there when we needed him when Burnley sort of broke so Certainly down that left-hand side, as you'd expect. So, uh, yeah, a good enough job. Uh, let's just hope he's all right. A Kanji, a shaky start, says Simon, was followed by a more composed performance and helps City control the second half. Yeah, Simon's giving a seven. Uh, I've got a 6.5. I, I thought I thought a Kanji wasn't his smoothest uh, game. He was given extra responsibility, of course, as our, basically our last central defender. Uh, there were one or two errors. There's certainly one towards the end of the game that he just simply lost the ball. We got away with it. Uh, but we did keep a clean sheet after all that. So I thought, given the extra responsibility, which I think Pep did with a couple of players today, uh, I think he did fine. Aki Simon said, a welcome return to the team after his summer injury and he earned his clean sheet with a solid performance. Yeah, I agree with Simon on this one. He's given him a seven. I give him a seven. Nothing untoward from Nathan. Looks a little lacking in pace occasionally, but he's always made up for it with his cool head and positioning. So that's what we need. Uh, we know he's not overly pacey, so well done, mate. Lewis... Uh, Simon said showed his versatility charged up and down the pitch although was targeted by Burnley and gave the ball away too many times yeah well I won't mention being targeted by a, a cigarette lighter uh, Simon's given a six I've had to agree um, I knew he may struggle in this one when I looked at the team I thought Pep was going to give him that sort of roving position and I like Lewis but is it a little bit early to give him that it certainly wouldn't have done him any harm uh, experience wise against a very robust Burnley team of course uh, so that would be good experience and obviously if he's to kick on this season perhaps he needs things like that but uh, yeah because he needs to go on to another level now Lewis after an exceptional season last season of course when he did play so and I think Pep gave next responsibility he rose to the challenge although it didn't quite all work did it Rodri Simon said a regular threat and attacking countless defensive interventions to make sure his team got the result yeah it's, Simon's given a 9 he's very generous Simon at the moment let's see what happens when we hit a bit of trouble I've given him an 8 uh, Assist and a goal. There you are. One great stop in defence, which we mentioned in the match report when that player was through. He you know, didn't give him any chance of getting back and getting a toe on it, but he did. Uh, and certainly not easy getting in that part of the field against a, a dogged Turf Moor side, but he, he sort of made it look as though he had a bit more time perhaps than he did have. He did very, very well. Stood tall and strong, of course. Uh, De Bruyne. Simon said, look menacing and putting a terrific cross for the first goal, but enough for early injury. Damn, gutted. He's given a seven. It's far, he wasn't on the pitch long enough for me to mark. He shouldn't have been starting this for me. I'll say it now. I'm pretty angry at our obviously overpaid medical team. All right, these things happen. But I've heard words, I've heard comments from official comments from from uh, managers, coaches, etc., that it was worth worth the risk playing him, took a chance. Uh, sorry, I, I'm not having that. Uh, it's not good enough. The same happened in the Champions League final. I mean, you know, we, we took a chance. He wasn't fully fit. So what if, he's, if we're taking a chance with him, why are we taking that chance? We've just had a, a, a close season. Surely that was time to sort him out, get him in for extra treatment if needed or extra work on certain things. 
I'm, I'm not happy at all, guys. Let me know what you think, anyway. Am I being a bit mean on, on City? I, I just thought it was a, a bad decision. Alvarez found space in the box, had time to tee up Haaland second, but otherwise struggled to stay involved. Uh, give him a six. I give him a six as well. Uh, as I said, he's either got new boots or he put his boots on the wrong feet yesterday. But uh, he was involved, did some nice little things as well. But as I said, as far as uh, deciding when to shoot and what to shoot and what to do, it wasn't his decision making wasn't always fantastic. I thought it was one of his weaker games again, Alvarez yesterday. But uh, it was oh, it was okay. Bernardo, a quiet start to the time became a classic. Silver performers buzzing about everywhere, keep possession, moving it forward. I'm not as enamoured. Uh, I, you know, I might have to watch it back again. I, I mean, Simon's given an eight. I'll give him a six point five. I think eight's a bit high. But again, Pep's asking him to do a job, and he's done that job. I, I've noticed him work the ball and cru lose the ball around and about the box at least once, maybe a couple of times uh, yesterday, which is not the place we want to be losing the ball. And you don't expect Bernardo to lose the ball anyway. But he's got to get used to other players around him as well, with Lewis busy about, uh, Kovacic is busy about, of, of course, uh, Gavardiol at some stage busy about. He's got to get used to that because he does roam around the pitch. So, But he, do, he did what Pep was asked, and I thought it was okay, six and a half, but I said eight from Simon. Uh, am I being mean again, guys? Let me know. Foden, nothing came off for him, said Simon, but he linked well with Harlan and was threatening running behind the defence all game. Yeah, he's given him a seven. I, again, another one of those where was he trying too hard? He was bundled off the ball a couple of times at key moments or certainly lost his balance. Uh, again, against a, a solid Burnley team. Uh, he did look our most lively, creative player. KDB's going to be out for a length of time or forever. Who knows at the moment? Uh, we need forward to step up uh, and of course Burnley were not easy to work around so I thought he did very very well uh, Simon's given him a 7, I, I've given him a 6 and a half. I just thought he might, perhaps could have done a little bit better a couple of times or finished better which is one of his problems for me with Fold and his finishing of, of a move he does everything right and then his final pass just isn't quite or he just doesn't get his shot away properly Harland, Simon said two quality goals that made the difference he can have as few touches he likes as he wins games like that, said Simon. He's given a nine. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be... I'm giving an eight, which for me is a nine anyway in my marking. Absolutely. He may have needed to come deeper occasionally when we needed it, but uh, two great goals from two chances because it wasn't easy playing Burnley, say, with that press. And, uh, of course, uh, Edison was pinging it out and he was doing what he had to do, working very hard. And perhaps he could have been greedier a couple of times when he passed to other players. But, uh, of course, two, those two chances, two goals. I don't remember him particularly missing a chance, so that was wonderful. Uh, and he certainly didn't play the wrong pass particularly when he did pass. You know, he obviously it didn't, didn't turn out well occasionally. You know, he played for Alvarez a couple of times who uh, didn't perhaps do as much as we, we'd hoped. But, uh, no, great performance from Ireland uh, coming back. Substitutes, of course, Kovacic for De Bruyne on 24 minutes. Took a bit of time to settle, said Simon, but some clip balls forward. That Gundo would have approved of. Yes, he's given a seven. I'll give him a six and a half. I think he worked very hard. He's nothing like Gundo. He likes to rampage a little bit through players. Uh, he's no Yaya Tori just yet. Hey, we'll give him time. He likes to take players on him and keep that ball and move. And that's good. That's what uh, Pep wants. He brings a bit more creativity alongside him. That he's an ideal player. Uh, so that's it. He did what Pep asked of him, I think, yesterday. And the other guys who came on, no time to mark Guardiol, uh, Laporte, Palmer, and Makiti. Uh, all came on. Man of the match, I am going to give it, uh, let me know what you think, I'm just going to give it Rodri uh, just ahead of two goal Haaland I think, based on that, what do you think guys right, there you go, it's nearly 20 minutes, I'm sorry about that guys, I try and get these done under 15, but a lot to talk about with last night's game, with it being the first one I suppose, uh, coming up soon please join me, uh, I'll look back at our first ever Oh, sorry, we'll look forward to our first ever UEFA Super Cup match in Athens. That'll be interesting what team we play against Sevilla. I look back at our Etihad meeting with them first uh, in October 2015. So that's that's out. that'll be out on Sunday as I'm recording this. I'm recording this on Saturday. And with our Pepsi 11 for this game, a chance to win uh, one, one of, not all three, one of the three official Manchester City shirts for the 23-24 season. Take your pick, uh, you know, uh, home, away or the third kit or whatever. Uh, that, that's uh, the Pepsi 11 competition and information and preview of the Sevilla matches out on Monday. So uh, give us a follow for that, guys. Thanks for your support. Until we meet again, oh, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now.